Okay, let's have a talk about 24 volt motors. Okay, there you see the Tenshoto SD24 that we have shown many times doing the old haircut on a 15 inch radius. Let's listen to him, see what we can hear. You're hearing nothing but gears. Now that's not even 50% when I turn them up. We're going at 50% right here. That's like 80%. So he's not super fast and he doesn't have, he doesn't have, well he certainly doesn't have this in him. He's got one, one of the very decent 24V motors in him. And for brass, that's pretty dang good what you just heard. It's like really good. Now, let's bring back old Hercules here. Now Hercules. Let's, let's hope that if we moved him over here, Hercules has this problem where his trucks don't stay in their sockets when I lift them up. And that's kind of one of the problems. Let's see if he's ready to roll. Maybe he's going to cooperate. Yeah. Hercules has two Mabuchi 24V motors in him. Right now he's rolling at about... Uh, I don't know, what is this, uh, two volts, he's rolling at two volts, and now he's rolling at, uh, three volts, That's Hercules. He has two 24 volt Mabuchis wired in parallel. Okay, so as you can see, he stops on a dime. That's because. Um, in my DCC planning system, I am going to use digital momentum. And he has super smooth power curve, which when I put a decoder in here, you're hearing nothing but gears. That is two of the Mabuchi. 24V motors. That's a DD40 dual motor wired parallel. He doesn't go that fast even at maximum. But at super slow speed and He starts moving at like, we're talking about one volt here, because my Bucci motors of this type move in milliamps. So on the power pack here, I've got a, a, a Tech 2, got dialed in at 15%. Uh, on a 12 volt system, that's 1.2 plus 0.6, less than 2 volts. Less than 2 volts, and he's creeping along. Now, when I put him over there on the 14 volt system, on the track you usually see him on, that's 
That's a quarter of the power. There's 25% of maximum power. Now over there people think, oh no, he takes off, it goes too fast. Even on, on the minimum voltage, it's like 3% to 14 volts. That is why we are going to use a 24 volt motor. Because remember, 24 volt motors, in a, in, they're never going to reach maximum. They just aren't. They don't reach maximum because we don't have a 24 volt track system. Our track is only right here for about uh, 12 and a half volts. Over there on the main test track, we're at about 14 volts. That's as fast as, that's the maximum voltage. So you cannot reach maximum revolutions. Because maximum revolutions are in 24 volts. And I've tested this thing. It goes way higher than 24 volts. So, what we're going to do. What we're going to do is we're going to take. Yeah, see him? That motor right there. And we're going to put them. We are going to put them on the tester. All right. So we're going to put them on the tester. Okay, right there, under the oscilloscope. That is our bench top tester. Okay, that's our bench top tester. Let's heat them up. All right. All right, let's get all these cords out of here. Okay, so now, as you can see, he is set to 14.08 volts. All right. So now this Johnson motor that I'm going to use in the SD24 and the GB20. Let's clip on. Let's... Dang it, man. At maximum. 14 volts. This is what the maximum system is. See how much is drawing? 0.16 amps. Can I pinch him? I don't even know if I want to because I'll tell you what, this is gonna burn my fingers, man. Almost getting one amp, and I can't do it because it burned my fingers. Ah, yeah, that burned my fingers all right. Okay, we're not doing that again. Okay, I got 1.2 amps of burning my fingers, and I didn't even slow them down. But this is 24-volt motor. That means we're in, there's like 10 more volts to go. Burnt my fingers, and I could not slow it down. I could take my big lineman's pliers out here and... Grab on, but I don't need to, um, because if there was a total stall, one, this power, that power, will rip apart the U-joints, even factory U-joints, but more, more specifically, it'll rip apart the U-joints that I make. I make U-joints so that this will, uh, rip them apart if there's a real problem like if this is a total stall and it totally stalled I don't want it to cause a fire this will just rip apart the U-joints and it'll be fine I'll put in new U-joints later that is 14 volts on this guy and we are at 0.14 amps see that even if I try to Still at 0.5 amps at the most. Under the heaviest load. Under the heaviest load. Not even going to make half amp. Perfect for DCC. Right? That's what we want to see. And this thing is going to turn those brass gears perfect. 